So let me guess, you just installed Adobe Premiere Pro 2020, opened it for the first time and you saw an error that says that your graphic card is not supported. In that case, you're not alone. This is a very simple problem. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Okay, so first let's look at what the actual issue is. Okay, so when you open up Premiere, it's gonna show you this error message saying that unsupported video driver. So note the exact name of your graphic card here. So in my case, it's NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. So if you don't know, or maybe if it is difficult for you to see it here, there's also another way to find this by pressing Window key and R. Or we can go to Start menu and Run. Here, type in DXDiag, press OK, and here hit S. And this is going to open up the DirectX Diagnostics tool. And here you can actually look for the Display tab. Sometimes if you have two graphic cards, you might have to look for the Display 1 or Display 2. And there it will show the exact name of your graphic card. So in my case, it's NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. So now we're going to go to Google Chrome. And we're going to type NVIDIA Driver Download. So you can actually click on the first link that shows up here to open up the NVIDIA's website to download the drivers. And here we need to choose what type of graphic card we have. So product type I have as GeForce. And product series is mine is GeForce 10 series. And I have a laptop, so I need to choose the notebook version. And here I'm choosing 1050 Ti. And then we need to choose the operating system that we have. And here is the important step, right? So by default, you will actually have the game driver. Okay, so what we need to install is the Studio Driver. So Studio Driver is what is essentially required for Adobe Premiere to work. So let's choose Studio Driver here. It's also known as SD. And click on Search, and here you can click on Download. So we need to click one more Download button to actually download the driver for us. So I'm going to speed up the process. Don't think that I have high-speed internet connection. Okay, so let's open up the graphic card uh, driver that we have got, and we're going to click OK to install it. And this is taking some more time, so there's a couple of processes that we need to do. Just do step-by-step, step, follow the instruction that shows in the screen, and you should get it downloaded. So again, it does some system checking, and it's actually going to start the proper installation now. Okay, so I'm just going to choose the NVIDIA graphic card driver with the GeForce experience. I have no idea what that other thing is going to do. So let's just click on Agree, and we're going to go to Next. Okay, so now it's actually doing the installation. And once it is done, we're going to click Close. There you go. So now we have got the software's proper driver being installed, and this is the GeForce experience that opens up. We can actually close it. And now we're going to go and open up Adobe Premiere, and this time it should open without any issues. That's it, guys. So we fixed the problem. So that's how we install the proper driver for our graphic card to make sure that Adobe Premiere supports the graphic card that we have. Thank you so much for watching and see you in another tutorial. So if the video is useful for you, hit the like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification to get notified about new videos. Good luck and see you soon.